watching the KSM show. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So much. Thank you. It's the KSM show. Now, my guest coming up is uh, quite, quite, quite fascinating. You know, I, I, do, I do something similar called One Man Show on stage, you know, and every time you hear about a one man show, most likely it's on stage, but this is a one man show in the movies. A whole movie featuring one person, only Prince David Ose can do that. Put your hands together and welcome Prince David Ose. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. <laughs> Have a seat, man. Whoa, Prince, good to see you, man. Pleasure, sir. You're looking good, though. <laughs> Thank you. You've been, you've been gymming, eh? Not really. <laughs> By the way, welcome to the show, man. Thank you, sir. You've been on before, way back yeah, in the when it was uh, Thank God is Friday. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. And, and that was uh, to do with the dead movie, the Hollywood movie. That I was a Hollywood movie, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. And um, it's been great. But I, you're here today because you've done a movie all by yourself? All by myself, 90 minutes. 90 minutes? <laughs> Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you write this? No, I didn't write it. Originally, it was written by Baba Tunde Adewale Dennis, a Nigerian. But I adopted the script. Okay. I bought it, adopted it, and I changed almost everything. Really? Yeah. So but the storyline is the same? or you've? Uh, the storyline was embellished. Initially, his had a different direction. But mine had some... Um, the plot was more on marriage, relationship, um, cheating, lying, and uh, pretending to be what you're not, and um, also drug abuse. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's all by one, one person. One person. <laughs> it, was, it was directed by Andy Boyo, and um, Andy Boyo also had some input in the script. He actually changed a lot of stuff in the mm -hmm. script, mm -hmm. the director. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And... and, and what, 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 what made you decide that you wanted to try that? Um, I had this dream of doing something very eccentric, something different, like five years ago. Hmm. So, funny enough, you know, when this guy approached me and said, oh, I have a script I want to sell as a one man, I'm like, are you serious? This is something I've always wanted to do. Then, so I went through the script, I discovered it was like a good Mm -hmm. basis, mm -hmm. something I could work mm -hmm. on. So I bought it from him and I started working on it. So as time went on, each time I add something to it, I subtract, I kept thinking about the best way of making it a good script. And finally, when it was all set, I spoke to my godfather, who is also the director, and uh, he was fascinated, like, this is crazy. <laughs> so I gave him the script, he read it, and we kept sharing ideas as time went on, and we finally decided to do it. Wow, wow. <laughs> Show some love, man. 90 minutes. And, 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 and folks, um, um, I, w I want you to check out the movie, and it's, 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 it's just mind-boggling. Um, what were the difficulties? One person? Um, the difficulties, apart from the financial constraint, because mm. I was producing it and I was mm. acting at the same time, mm. we had challenges um, with electricity then, because... Um, the Dimso crisis was very prominent at that time. Mm, mm. So we had to rely on generator. Every time we had generator, move it around. Yes. It wasn't funny. And um, also the weather. Sometimes it rains and we can't shoot. So in total, we spent 15 days on set. You know, and uh, another terrifying moment was lying in a casket. Because I had to be in a casket for a long time yeah, to shoot some of the scenes. And, <laughs> We had to construct like three different caskets. Really? The first Why? one did not work. We were shooting, we discovered it wasn't working. We did a second one and we did a third one. Cause, uh, what was wrong? What, why wasn't it the working? Dimensions. Cause, the uh, dimensions. Because they needed to fit the cameras in, the lenses, uh, so uh, they could get uh, the accurate uh, shot and uh, it wasn't working. So it was more <laughs> like <laughs> experimental. <laughs> and it, was, it was taxing, it was challenging. At some point I felt so tired and so one, I felt like I'm not doing this anymore because, wow. you know, but, wow. the, you know, the crew kept urging me on, you really wanted to do this, so you need to do it. Wow, so, wow. Yeah. Show some love, man. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe I haven't heard of any 
Is there a movie, one a cast, one one man cast movie out? Um, in Hollywood, the, the there is there is um one called Buried. Okay. It featured okay. Um, Ryan Reynolds. Okay. And there's another one by Tom Hardy okay. called Look. Okay. Look. Yeah. But in Africa, this is the first time. This is time, the first time. Yeah. Very first time. A lot of people. <laughs> And, and outside of Hollywood, this is the yeah, first time. This is the first time. A lot of people tried to discourage me. They were like, oh, the risk involved. Are you going to make your money? And, you know, one man show. But in, the, the interesting aspect of this movie is it's not monotonous. It's, it's pacey. It's yeah. full of suspense. Yeah. When you see the trailer and when you see the whole movie, you go like, how? We were in America and we showed it to some white folks in LA. They looked at me. They looked at the director. They looked at me like, how did you do it? Wow. I'm like, wow. we did it. Like, you know, they wow. don't believe something like that is coming from Ghana. Wow, wow. No, it's, it's absolutely fantastic, you know. And uh, let's take a, a quick uh, pause here and take a look at some, one or two clips from the movie. Take a look at this. All right, folks, we're back to the Truth and Consequence show. The name is Bright Mensa, your host. And the topic for today still remains legalization of mind altering drugs. I have a caller. Hello, you're on air. Yeah, man. Don't call me Charlie. All right, Charlie. Yeah, man. Ganja too is natural. When you smoke it, you could have communicated with all of them aliens. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. It's like, boom! Frank? Are, are, are you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Um, we're on air. Brenda, Junior. I have now is a matter of life and death. This is a matter of life and death too. Hello? Hello? Somebody, anybody help me, help me, please! So th this is a this is a at some point you play a talk show radio talk show yes yes that, that's what you yeah, saw, yeah yeah wow so from a radio presenter to a uh, drug guy yes. to someone who is trying to be a savior about whatever he preaches is not what he practices wow wow so in all how long did it take you I'm not talking about the filming itself the preparation in terms of Characterization, memor memorization. memorization. How long was that? Um, I think I lived the character for like two years. Because what happened was when I first got the script, and I was fascinated by it, we kept working on it. So I was in and out of the script every day. Every time I'm driving, I'm thinking about, okay, has it got to be done this way? Because what we achieved was in the whole of 90 minutes, you see only me, mm -hmm. you drive in town. I drive in town, the character drives in town, you see houses, you see mm -hmm. cars passing, mm -hmm. but you don't see a human being. Mm. That no, was the, we tried not to. There's no human being on site. You wow. see cars driving. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So wow. it wasn't easy. So I kind of literally leave the character aside. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, you see potential awards internationally? Because it's breaking, breaking new territory. You know? um, on, on Sunday, I got awarded uh, in Nigeria, City People Entertainment Award. They just saw the preview. I got awarded as the best actor in lead role in Ghana, 2015. So, yes, Already you started. Awarded, <laughs> 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 the movie, just the preview copy of, you know, yeah, yeah, I yeah, got awarded. And yeah, um, yeah. when even Nelson saw it, she's like, oh no, David, this one, you must win an award. I had the press conference on Friday, a holiday in, and all the press men that came, they were like, wow, wow. this is mind-blowing. How did you do it? And I just felt like doing something different because yeah. at a point, the fans were like, okay, if Prince is not playing the lover boy, yes, he's playing the yes, gangster. Yes, and yes, it yes. got to a point I got tired. I, yeah. I'm, I'm so versatile and I feel 
there's more to me than you wanted to stretch yes yeah, so show the other the other side of me so. fantastic fantastic yeah. Yeah. wow show some love man you know I, I i just i just found it so fascinating i said i must talk to i must talk to Prince, man, and I'm, I'm so happy uh, for you. You've done extremely well, by the way. Thank you. You know, and I can see it, you know, the, the, the future is looking even better. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You, sir. Show some love, man. <laughs> Are you, did I ask you the last time whether you're married or dating or something? No. I'm asking you now then. <laughs> no, I'm not married yet, but I'm dating. <laughs> So Hope, hopefully I sh I should get married this year before the end of this year. Really, your friend is saying. I'll keep that in the window <laughs> before somebody goes to beat her up. What do you do outside of you know your busy actor to relax and, and chill? I and travel a lot. Oh, I love travel? traveling. Yeah. yeah, vacation. Okay. Because there's too much stress in Ghana. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. like you know whenever you find an outlet. yeah just go to the US, London, Europe, just tour around and you know. Visit my son in the okay. U.S. Oh, my son is in the U.S. Yeah, in the US. Okay, cool. Prince, congratulations, man! Congratulations, and um, it's, it's it's extremely fascinating. And folks, um, those of you who haven't seen it, I don't know why, but find it and see it, and definitely. Silverbed Cinema. Silver at the Silverbed Cinema. That's a place to go. Be there, and we'll be right back. <laughs>